the love a mother has for her. Kit is quite unusual. It is fearless, ferocious, and limitless. A mother is willing to go to great lengths to protect her child's safety. Today's story is about one pregnant woman who was unfortunately confirmed brain dead just months before her due date, and everyone was worried about the baby. Sandra was the type of person who was willing to give up everything for her children, but she had no idea that her decision would split her family apart Sandra and her husband. Meal led a lovely and uncomplicated marriage. They even had a child, and their relationship was joyful because they respected and endured each other's vices. Nevertheless, while Miela thought he knew his wife too much, she was concealing a dark secret, Sandra. You see, had a scar on her stomach meal. On the other hand, assumed it was linked to previous kidney difficulties. Little did he know there was more to the story. Unfortunately, he only discovered the harsh reality when it was too late. Zander became pregnant for the second time when their son turned eight. The family was overjoyed as expected. Sadly though, this joy would not last long. His wife was not feeling good during her pregnancy, so she went to the hospital for sexual tests, her life, as well as the lives of everyone else. She cared about and began to shatter right there because this woman's health history was a roller coaster. She had battled pneumonia, heart disease, and kidney cancer, among other things. Sandra was terrified and couldn't believe the results were hers. Her kidney cancer had returned and she was in severe condition. According to the test, Sandra became out of breath from fright she overheard the doctor urging her to terminate the pregnancy since it was in her best interests. She didn't know what to say to Esso. She walked away without saying anything in age. Her head was filled with different thoughts. What would happen to her unborn child? Despite her anxieties, she stared intently at her stomach and saw a reason to continue, so she had made up her decision to make any sacrifice for the baby. But she also made a significant error that day. Sander kept her anxieties hidden from everyone, including her husband. As the pregnancy proceeded, she did it to the best of her ability, until the truth was forced out one sad morning. Sandra and Meal had invited the guests around for dinner the night before the terrible morning. It was a date night, so everyone was dressed to impress besides. That night was also the first time they had ever gone on a date. They sat around the table after dinner, enjoying lovely chats and playing cards when they went home. Miel noticed a peculiar noise emanating from the restroom a few moments after Sandra had left. He hurried there startled and was struck with a sight that devastated his heart in ways that words cannot describe. Sandra was bathed in tears and lying flat on the restroom floor. What do you guys think he saw? She appeared weak and continued to writhe in anguish, telling her husband that she does knit feel good while grasping her head, and her only thought was of the baby in her wool. So immediately, Neil wrapped a wet towel around her head and dialed 911. He didn't take his eyes away from his wife for a second. While waiting for the paramedics to come, he even continued to communicate with her Sandra was virtually unconscious. When the paramedics came, so they went straight to the hospital in a hurry. Once there, the doctors determined after conducting a number of tests that she is in fact brain dead, he'd already lost her mind. Medell's world came to an abrupt stop after learning of his wife's misery and an offing. The physicians or his family said could make him feel better. He feared he'd lost everything, including his wife and the unborn child. Inside her Sanders family, they began making funeral plans just hours after she was certified brain dead. The doctors also planned to remove her from the vent the next day. They'd also given up hope for the unborn child. The next morning, however, whatever the doctors did changed the direction of the story. They performed some tests on the unborn child that day and the physicians couldn't stop shouting. When the results came back, a heartbeat was detected during the testing, and the boy had actually survived. Both M. Eagle and doctors were astonished by the exciting news. The unborn youngster was only 17 weeks old at the time of his birth and had around four months to live. It was a long shot up until that point, and Miela wasn't sure the boy would make it this far. Even the doctors had doubts, so they sang soothing melodies to the infant every day through his mother's womb. 
Neil's wait was one of the most trying times of his life. He would even turn off his phone whenever he didn't want to receive calls from the hospital shortly after the doctor felt it was time to deliver the boy in the 37th week, while Miele stood outside the operating room waiting for word on the delivery after the surgery. The surgeon emerged and informed that Miele had become a father. Louis was so happy and surprised and could not believe that such a miracle could occur to him. However, Neil was not allowed to touch the boy for the following four weeks, since he was still in an incubator. Unfortunately, a conflict that Miele had not anticipated erupted just days after Lorenzo's birth. His parents-in-law requested full custody and they claimed me. El couldn't raise him on his own, despite the fact that he wasn't sure he'd have enough time to care for the boy he was prepared to do whatever he could to make it work. Fortunately, Miela was granted paternity and maternity leave during this time, allowing him to care for his newborn kid. Biel also made peace with Sanders' family, rather than allowing issues to linger. Biel afterwards learned that his wife had renal cancer. He was surprised because he was unaware of it, but he respected her decision as well. Lorenzo is currently being lavished with love and care by his father, aunts, and grandparents. So this is the end of the story. What are your thoughts about it? What is the greatest sacrifice you've ever made for someone you care about? Don't forget to leave your comments in the section below, and we will see you next time.